Today I'd like to cover a different direct current motor. This motor uses permanent magnets and temporary magnets to work. In other videos we will show you a few motors that were built using windings or loops of wire instead of using a permanent magnet for the fixed or static magnet. Okay, but first of all I'd like to introduce you to a couple of new parts of the motor. First we have the power source. This is made up of uh, two AA batteries. Now the power source, uh, once the switch is pressed, it sets up a circuit where the electrons move through the wires to the brushes. So the electricity goes, comes up to the brushes and then the brushes bring the electricity into the commutator. The commutator is split. You can kind of see through the video there. The commutator has spaces between the copper and uh, what happens there is when the brushes bring the electricity to the commutator, it does not bring electricity through to the temporary magnets because of the split in the commutator. The split in the commutator actually acts as a switch which allows the three various windings or three various coils to switch the magnetic fields. So uh, that's uh, uh, part of the description of the motor. You have the you end up having the brushes, the commutator, you have the axle, you have the armature. This is one of two of the permanent magnets. Later on, instead of having these permanent magnets, I will have windings or uh, loops of wire. So that pretty much gives you the total complete package of this particular motor. Uh, I'm going to turn, first of all, I'll turn on the uh, switch so there will be one and a half volts shown and then I'll, I'll move it and we'll have three or a total of three volts shown and you'll hear the definite increase in the speed of the motor. So the first one is one and a half volts. Now, a very easy move here. I can take it and move it over here to this attachment. And now we will be using both motors, and you'll hear a definite change in the sound of the motor. So in this particular case, you can talk about parallel and series batteries. So what we've learned today is about a power source. We've learned about the brushes. We've learned about the commutator, we've learned about the armature, and we also have in the past learned about permanent magnets. Thank you and have a great day.